everybody wants abs. Well, I'm happy to announce that for the last 30 days, I put in the work, you guys. I worked my butt off, or abs off, to achieve the Greek godlike six-pack abs that attract women in the masses. I put in the work. I found the recipe, you guys. That's right. For the last 30 days, I've been doing 100 crunches a day, every single day, to achieve what some might call the abs of a Greek god. I mean, come on. So how'd I do it, you might be asking yourself? Well, here is exactly what I did. 100 crunches every day for 30 days. I, I said that like four times now. It's literally all I did. I didn't really think about how I could make this video any longer than two minutes. Frick. Okay, so to start off this challenge, I wasn't able to do the 100 sit-ups in a row without stopping. So what I would do is I would do as many as I could and then I would stop for 20 to 30 seconds and then I would continue to do the sit-ups until I hit the 100 mark. It didn't usually take me that long, maybe five or six minutes tops. So I, I really think that anybody could do this. Um, if you remember uh, a couple months ago, my Navy SEAL challenge video, I really was only able to do like 40. I couldn't even do the 50 that I was supposed to do in under two minutes. However, now, of course, I could probably do it no problem because the thing is, with repetition, the sit-ups just became easier and easier. Like anything else, if you do more sit-ups, you're just going to get better at them, which is ultimately what happened during this entire challenge. And anybody could do this. Like, honestly, I think that 90% of people could probably do the 100 sit-ups for 30 days with very little difficulty. The only problem is it sucks. It's just not fun to do sit-ups. Nobody likes doing sit-ups. I don't like doing sit-ups. I'm sure that you don't like doing sit-ups. Yeah, I mean, in the end, it got easier as time went on. I think by the end, I could do at least 60 in a row just to start, and then maybe one to two more sets if I was in a hurry, I could probably get it done in under three minutes, no problem. Now let's talk about what it did for me in the gym uh, in terms of my other workouts. I didn't really progress any further than I already had gotten in the gym aside from my bench, which actually went to a 225, which is a PR for me. It felt pretty dang good. I don't think the abs did anything for that. <laughs> I'm in the gym pretty frequently without doing the ab workout. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm glad that I PR'd on my bench, but I don't think that this helped me in that area at all. All right, now let's talk about the part that all of you shallow people want to know. Yeah, let's talk about my physique. What changed? Is it better? Do I have Greek godlike abs? No, I don't. And <laughs> I know it's disappointing for you guys. And all I can say about that is it is way more disappointing for me. I did maintain the same weight throughout this whole entire challenge. Nothing really changed there. I think I'm about 154, 155. With that in mind, my jeans did get a little bit looser, I think noticeably, um, but I still don't have six pack abs. Now, if you see these pictures that I took side by side, basically the one was taken before and then the others taken after. They were taken in the same spot in pretty much the same lighting. And as you can see, pretty much, pretty much nothing's changed. I think you can maybe see my top abs just a little bit more, but overall, yeah, not, not much. So um, I'm disappointed. I'm sure you are. I was expecting like anyone else that if a bozo decided to spend 30 days doing 100 crunches a day, that he would probably have abs at the end of it, right? I mean, that's quite a bit of work. But the reality is the formula was a little bit 